All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the DFS experience for Saturday, May 6th. Starting with DraftKings, Steph Curry 9.8, self explanatory. Fire him up. Jalen Brunson 8.3K, nice and rested. I expect him to play um, better. Last game, I know Randall had a better game than him. He had 45 fantasy points. Eh. 10 for 19, 6 for 10. All right, I guess he had a decent game. I didn't play much of him, but um, but he is rested, so he should he should be he should play well. Russell 6.1, very risky. Those wings are in uh LA. Very risky. You got to pick the right one. Um, cause you know every once in a blue, Hachimura can outscore the wings. Um, and he did that in the last game. So you got to be very careful with the the wings, the non-LeBron wings on on the Lakers. But I think you guys know that they're still good play, good plays. It look like Reeves' um, usage has went down a little bit. So just watch that. Russell's always in play because of how streaky he is, and he is the main ball handler. So, um, assist assist rates are up. Um. Potential assist are up on Russell, and he's streaky, so I give Russell the slight edge over Reeves. Gabe Vincent, he's in play, but he's risky. Kyle Lowry, um, don't think you might need him with Jimmy being back. Um, Jordan Poole is a bozo. He is streaky, but he's a bozo. If he doesn't play well, his ass will get benched. Um, I can see him getting benched in this next game, especially if LA goes on a little run. Um, not telling you not to play him, just limit your shares of him. Quickly, we don't, we don't really need, look like the Knicks are back healthy. So we shouldn't, you shouldn't really be paying 5k for quickly. Um, shoulder at 3.9k, you can always take a shot on. Clay Thompson, he, I, I did expect him to have one of his games. He had it in game two. Don't expect him to have back to back great games. Um, but if you think he's going to have another good game, you can fire him up. 7K, he's priced appropriately. RJ Barrett, Knicks are healthy. Like I said, I don't see him continuing to play well while they're all healthy. He's 6.7K. Price has come up a little bit, but it is a two-game play. You could take a shot. Um, Struess, kind of pricey. You could take a shot. The legend of Duncan Robinson. I think that book is about to close as Miami's getting a little bit healthier. They shouldn't really need him. Um, the rest of those guys you can't play. Quentin Grimes is not in the rotation like that, especially if he's not coming off the. Especially if he's not starting. Josh Hart is eating his minutes, and that's about. And you know, and we all know Josh Hart could go for forty-eight minutes. Um, Bronze in play. I prefer Buck. I prefer Jimmy. Uh, Wiggins, Wiggins is mid. You could take a shot. Josh Hart does a little bit of everything. Should fire him up. Caleb Martin, even if he comes off the bench, does a little bit of everything. You could take a shot. DiVincenzo, um, if 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 the Warriors get blown out, you could play DiVincenzo in a little bit of blowout run. But other than that, I don't think he's gonna need him in a competitive game. But thirty four hundred is not bad. You just need him to get hot. Randall, 7.8K. Price is going up. He's healthy. You can fire him up. Draymond Green, 6.5K. If he starts, you could take a shot. Kevin Love, you could take a shot. No OB Toppin. Hashemar is absolutely in play. Vanderbilt is absolutely in play. Oh. Look what's happening. Kevin Looney's healthy. He's not questionable. He miraculously, miraculously recovered. Man, get the fuck out of here. All right, AD's in play. AD had a down game. You know what that means. He got a monster game coming up, locking AD. Bam, Bam is overpriced because he's he's average. He, he's a he's a bit over. He's a bit above average, and Bam is not him anymore. Bam is not him. And the game without Jimmy, 35 points, 35 fantasy points. The game before that, 28 fantasy points. Nah, you're playing without, 
you're playing without your main guy, you take 10 shots, unacceptable. Um, I don't, I, I can't, I don't, I don't know if I could pay 8K for Bam. If you want to pay 8K for Bam, congratulations. I'd rather play, I'd rather take the $200 discount and play uh, Randall. Who's going to shoot? At least he's going to shoot. Kevin Looney, 6.3K. Price came down. Fire him up. Um, Mitchell Robinson, he hasn't been doing what I expected him to do, especially with Julius Randle off the court. Now Julius Randle is back. Uh, I don't expect him to do anything. Um, I don't I don't expect that, that he's going to do anything that we need him for. So if you want to take a shot on him, you can take a shot. Probably better off playing Hart Hartenstein at that's cheaper. Um Yep, I think that's about it. So um if you're new, welcome. Thank you for watching. No it's a quick video, it's only a two two game slate. Please subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up. Really appreciate it. We're on the road to a thousand subscribers, so I need everybody's help. Thank you in advance. Um, if you're struggling to cash, I can help you. I can send you my finalized optimal lineup. Just check out the Patreon link in the description. Or you can DM me on Twitter. We can breeze through FanDuel. Look at the salaries. Player pool is the same. You know, my player pools are very tight. I play players that uh that get minutes and that give you the give themselves the opportunity to produce fantasy points. If you just say that in your head while you're building your lineup, you'll build you'll you'll build a winner. You'll build a winner. Um, I'm start with point guard. Go through these salaries. See if there's any salaries that we need to be concerned with. Curry, Brunson, Russell. Gabe is a little overpriced. Curry, Brunson, and Russell are priced appropriately. Pool, he's priced appropriately for his upside. Lowry, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think you need Lowry when everybody's healthy on um, Miami. His price is, it's okay, but he needs to get hot to pay that off. Um, Quickly's overpriced. Schroeder's overpriced. I mean, the thing with Schroeder is, if Russell is cold. Then Schroeder will get more minutes. Schroeder in this matchup is already getting more minutes because he he he's defending Curry. But if you really want him to get minutes, minutes, you need him to take some of um either Reeves or Russell's minutes. So that that would probably be Russell, and that would probably you will probably need Russell to to be very cold for them to give Schroeder some more minutes. 4.6K, that's going to be hard for him to pay off with everyone in their natural roles. Um, did I get everybody here? Hold on. Um, Barrett's price fine. Clay Thompson is underpriced for his upside. So is Josh Hart. Austin Reeves, he's priced appropriately because he's been on a um, he's been on a downward spiral with usage, so he's priced fine. Struess, price fine, because he could get hot. Um, Peyton, Dun Peyton, DiVincenzo, and Robinson, they're just there. Moody, you know, Mo you know, Moody's been getting a few minutes. They're all in the same kind of boat. Just got to get lucky and hope you pick the right one. They're not bad plays, but you just got to make sure you pick the right one. Jimmy. Jimmy's priced appropriately for his upside. Same as LeBron. Wiggins is probably a couple hundred dollars too expensive for his produ production. Um, Power forward. AD is priced appropriately for what he's about to do. Julius Randle is priced appropriately. Draymond, he's fine. Kevin Love might be overpriced. I don't see him getting a lot of minutes. Um, Vanderbilt is overpriced. Hachimura is fine. 
art and standards priced appropriately. Um, you take a shot on J. Michael Green. And at center, Bam is overpriced. Kevin Looney's priced appropriately for his upside. Mitchell Robinson is overpriced. And I think that's about it. Um, yeah, G. Michael Green, people will probably go to because he played the last game. I doubt he starts again. But he should still get a few minutes, so he's fine. Obi Toppin's going to play like 10 minutes. Hartenstein is probably going to. Hartenstein and, 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 and Rui. If you must play one of these lower end guys, Rui, Hartenstein, Vanderbilt. And then Kevin Love is a must. But listen, two game slate. I'm going to go on to get out of here. Let you get back to doing whatever it is you're doing. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and thumbs up. Patreon if you need help with lineups. And I'm out of here. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Ciao.